Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or more specifically, welcome to my bedroom in London. Now this is the second week of lockdown in the UK, and I know now that about a third of the world is in some form of lockdown, so most of you guys watching this video back home will either be in a kind of self-isolation or quarantine, and of course, it's pretty hard for a lot of us, especially if you're somebody like me who loves exploring the world and is normally out and about. So what I wanted to do was get in touch with some of my friends who also work in travel, whether they're travel bloggers or YouTubers, and ask them to record a short video showing what they're doing to entertain themselves, what they're doing to stay sane, and how they're generally coping with lockdown in their country. Now I've done a short introduction to everybody that appears in the video and also their links to their blogs or Instagrams are below in the captions. So if you want to find out who they are and follow their adventures, then make sure to click there. Okay, let's get started. First up is Carla. Carla and I met in Rio a couple of years ago and then again in Quito, while we were both exploring South America. She's a writer and blogger currently on lockdown in New York. Hey, Carla from Travel by Carla Vienna here. I'm a travel blogger based in New York and we've been under a pretty serious quarantine for quite some time now. So I've been inside, I think for over three weeks. Uh, honestly, I've lost track by now, but how am I staying sane? I am making a ton of to-do lists. I pretty much make a weekly to-do list uh, on my agenda. It's business as usual here. I work from home anyway, so just keeping up with my blog work, uh, keeping up with content creation as best as I can. I am trying to get creative and create some content here at home. I have a fire escape that I tried shooting at this week. Let's see, I don't know, let's see how it comes out. Um, the other thing I'm doing is baking or making my favorite snacks. This is a Brazilian brigadeiro. I never make these, but my boyfriend and I decided to finally make them this week. And pretty much just, yeah, eating. We ordered $150 worth of our favorite Brazilian snacks from the Brazilian supermarket here in New York. And that's pretty much how we've been staying sane in this tiny studio. Next up is Gabby. We haven't actually met, but I've followed her for a while as she shares some amazing opportunities for young people, including scholarships and travel contests. Hey guys, my name is Gabby and I am the travel blogger behind the blog Pax Light. And I have been in quarantine self-isolation for the past two weeks now here in the East Coast of the US and I've spent most of my time content creating like crazy. Um, actually, last month in February, I quit my full-time job to pursue my blog full-time, and then the coronavirus hit. So I am not traveling the world like I expected to, but I am channeling all the energy and excitement I had for that, just in a different way. So I've been doing a lot more experimentation, YouTube videos, IGTV, um, IG Live, stuff like that. Collaborating with other bloggers has been great. And in my house, a lot more indoor fitness, yoga, meditation, a lot of reading. Amazon is still pretty quick <laughs> with the deliveries. So a lot of my time has been, I would say, in continuous education and learning. Next is Hoob. He's a Dutch vlogger who spent a lot of time in Pakistan, but has now shipped his van to South America, where he's waiting it out in self-isolation. Hey guys, I'm Hoop van der Mark from Hoop Vlogs, and this is uh, Jippe, my puppy dog, and we are stuck in Argentina. Yeah, I thought it was fun to make it look like I'm stuck at this amazing place. This is actually my green screen. This is how bored I am. I'm driving from Argentina to Alaska. My van is over here on the other side of the gate, but I'm not allowed to go there. There's also a police car patrolling 24 hours a day. We are with six people in total here, and it's a different group because Three of us go to bed at like 11 and wake up at 8 and the other three stay up till like late in the night and watch TV. Most rooms have four beds in it like this. Uh, I have a really really small room over here. Hi, yippee. My green screen and my computer. I basically sit almost all day on my computer. I try to make videos with old footage I have, play with the puppy and 
I spend a lot of time thinking how I can make my life more effective when this is over. <laughs> Next, we have Greta. Greta and I travel together in St. Pete, and she's a blogger originally from Italy, but living in the UK. Hello, so my name is Greta of Greta's Travels, uh, and one of the things I am doing to entertain myself and stay sane during this quarantine is cooking. Uh, welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> I always used to eat out a lot and get a lot of delivery, so I thought I would take this time to teach myself how to cook because I am a very bad cook. <laughs> so I thought I'd show you how to make avo toast with poached eggs, which is a classic brunch item. And brunch is one of, going out for brunch is one of the things I'm missing most of this lockdown. First things first, I have sliced my avocado and I am now gonna smash it. And the easiest way to do it is to get a spoon and well, without dropping it. <laughs> Scoop out your egg and put it to the side to drain. Now that you've done the eggs, you take your beautifully smashed avocados. Ta-da! And there we have it, some beautifully poached eggs and avo toast. The moment of truth is seeing whether the egg has a runny yolk. So let's see. Ah, oh, yes, look at that beautiful runny yolk. Next up is Diviakshi. She and I met in Karnataka last year and she shares some wonderful content on her blog. She is currently on lockdown in India. Hello everyone, I'm Diviakshi Gupta and I'm a travel blogger from India. Due to the complete lockdown in my country, thanks to COVID-19, getting a lot of time, free time to be at home and uh, get back to reading. So yes, with the reading planner, started reading and uh, doing a lot of leisure activities like cooking, uh, and some not so leisure activities like cleaning and reorganizing photos in my hard, hard drives. Uh, that's from my side. Stay safe, guys. Next is Nelson. He and I met in Kerala last year and had some wonderful travel experiences together. Nelson is Peruvian but lives in the Czech Republic. He has been spending his lockdown playing guitar. <laughs> preparing his kit for vlogging, exploring the world on Google Earth and in VR, reading, and like a lot of us, watching Netflix. Next up is Tom, who runs a successful blog Travel Tom Tom. He's been traveling continuously since 2012, but is now back in the Netherlands. Hey guys, Tom here from Travel Tom Tom. And uh, yeah, this is how I spend my quarantine days outside because I'm from Holland and we don't have a lockdown. So glad, we're so glad. And I'm taking care of a little child. High five! High five! <laughs> Run! Oh, it's not mine. It's definitely not mine. Oh guys, yeah, I am so happy uh, I'm from the countryside because after 2,700 days I'm back in Holland. Continuously traveling for seven years and um, I must say evenings are boring but during the days I can work out and uh, yeah, that's what I do. Just wait until we make new travel plans, I think. Get off me! What? Uncle Tom! Uncle Tom! Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next up is Kerry from Kerry Somewhere. Kerry is a digital nomad but has had to return to Florida due to coronavirus. Hi everyone, my name is Kerry, also known as Kerry Somewhere. I'm a full-time traveler from Florida, USA. I'm also a digital nomad. I've been working remotely from my laptop for six and a half years now. I'm really lucky to be stuck in Florida if I'm going to be stuck anywhere at all. I'm spending about 95% of my time indoors because it's so important to stay home right now. 
but I am going out a bit just to exercise and get some fresh air um, and to walk my friend's dog. So right now, um, this is my routine every day when I wake up. Um, I make my coffee and I sit in front of my laptop and I get work done in the ed tech industry. So, in between working on my full-time gig, I will also work on um, travel blogging. So here's my actual website and the latest article that I wrote. Also going to be working on creating videos um, because I have a lot of video content so I'm going to be editing that and working on a lot of projects that I haven't had a chance to work on but I'll finally have the chance to work on. Next up we have Callum. Callum and I also met in Karnataka last year and he's a photographer and travel writer based in Australia. So here I am on lockdown or pretty much close to it. Lockdown in Australia hasn't really happened yet. But um, I'm out here on my farm in Barrowville, New South Wales, Australia. Um, hanging with the cows. They're not actually meant to be eating the silage straight out of the, the round bale, but um, I don't know. In a world like this at the moment, they can do what anyone can do whatever they want, so the cows are eating as much food as possible. But yeah, out on the farm, it's life as usual. Um, making gardens, making veggie, but veggie beds, um, spraying cows, got horses, dogs, it's pretty much life as normal out here but um, yeah thinking of those people who are trapped in the city, not as nice so uh, let's hope this all blows over pretty soon and um, we can get back on our feet. Taylor is a travel blogger from the US but living in London and she's recently written a book. Hey everyone, I'm Taylor and during the quarantine I have been trying to stay sane by reading a ton of books, taking care of my 22 plants that I have, trying not to kill my boyfriend, um, and just working on my blog and my YouTube channel and trying to come up with some content for you guys that you find useful. And I've also been trying to go on a daily walk or run to just kind of keep my mind at ease. Oh, and I've been doing daily yoga, which... I think that this quarantine has made me more active than I've ever been in my entire life. So these were just a few of my friends and fellow travel lovers letting you know what they've been doing in quarantine and lockdown around the world. I'd really like to know what you guys have been up to, how you've been passing the time, whether you've been productive, whether you've spent most of the day watching Netflix. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for stopping by and make sure to subscribe.